I went to a Catholic school and it was, so it was pretty small. It was like, there was only like 30 kids in each grade. And so Mr. Borowick, he taught science and social studies and Ms. Barone, she taught math and English and also our, our religion class. Mm-hmm. And I, I always think back to them because my sister also had both of them. And so there was like this familial connection mm-hmm. in my experience and she was older than me. And, mm-hmm. um, so it felt like these people who like really understood not just like me, but also my family. Mm. Uh, and so by the time I got to their classes, I felt understood by them in a way. Um, and I had lots of great teachers, but in a way that was really unique. Mm. And I just, um, I think with Mr. Borwick, I, I really learned a lot about how to balance being, um, like building a level of discipline in, with, with kids in a classroom mm-hmm. so that we're committed to learning, but also having fun. Mm. Uh, and I, um, I, I just remember the, the way he would tell stories um, and the way he would, the way he would also build relationships with kids outside mm. of whatever was going on in the classroom. Um, mm. Like I was, a, I was a really big hockey fan as a kid mm. and he, he took me to a hockey game mm-hmm. and I just thought that was like so interesting. Like I didn't yeah. even think that was something people did, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it also felt like for me, like I, I grew up, you know, like I moved to the United States when I was five, like being an immigrant, the feeling that like you're new here mm-hmm. was always this thing that kind of was like overhanging, not in a good or bad way. It was just kind of like, oh yeah, this, yeah. your parents don't have this like cultural history that, mm-hmm. all, that all, a lot of other folks seem to have. Um, so I probably would never have gone to one, you know, mm-hmm. otherwise. And so, it, and I learned a ton. I mean, I think that was the thing. Like I still remember how much I learned from him. And then with Miss Barone, she, she she we did this the way we had literature class with her was just like we would read whatever books we wanted like she would give us like a list and you'd have to read like different types of books Mm -hmm. and then you would just journal with her every week Mm -hmm. and then she would like write back to you Mm -hmm. and now as a teacher like i still have those journals and when i flip through them i'm just like blown away at how much attention she gave (laughs) like she would write like pages and pages back to me and when i think about it she was doing that for 30 (laughs) minutes hours and hours outside of work hours of reading right and um and it always felt so personal Mm. and i think like i think about that now and i think about the how i think about about learning and teaching and it it it, it's always personal Mm -hmm. like the job is like so personal because learning teaching kids math for example ultimately starts with understanding for me where each kid is at Mm -hmm. because I have to understand what they're coming to or coming with so that I can work with them. And I think with her, it was, I just remembered how good it felt as a student when someone was really like personally caring for me. Mm. 